Hi, this is Sarah Maywalt with Acuity Laser. What I want to show you here is a simple thickness measurement setup with our touch panel display and two of our AR700s pointed directly at each other. Now both of these lasers, they're both AR700-2s, are pointed at each other. Their beams have been aligned so that they're overlapping. Okay, and they also have both been connected to the touch panel already, or they've been wired to the touch panel already to ports A and B. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to connect them to the touch panel on ports A and B. Okay, there's that one, and there is that one. Okay, note that once they're connected, they're green up here. If they were to disconnect, they'd be red. Okay, so now once they're connected, you can go to the measurement screen. And what you're going to see in the measurement screen right now is you're going to see two separate measurement windows. They're all self-contained, and they all contain the same, um, the, the same, um, you know, options for both of them. And if you start it right now, you can see that it's, they're both, oh, both lasers, both sensors are out of range. And if I put my hand in the middle here, you can see that I can move it sort of back and forth and, and they both act on their own. Okay, so we're gonna stop that for right now. We're gonna go to application settings up here in the corner. Okay, so now we're gonna go to this section called sensor combinations. Now this is where you, when you have a, a thickness or a, a plane mode, this is the mode that you use in order to set it up so that the, uh, the sensors are working together and it does the math. So as you see here, there's an A and B mode, a C and D mode, an E and F mode, an A, B and C plane mode, a D, E, F plane mode. Now when you're using uh, sensors together, you need to be conscious of the ports you're using. So for a thickness measurement, you can connect them to both A and B, both C and D, both E and F. You can't you do a thickness measurement between two lasers, one connected at E and the other connected at A. That won't work. Now you could do three separate thickness measurements at the same time, but you have to be careful to make sure that they're uh, in the right ports. Okay, so for this, in this case, we have A and B, so we will check that box. Now we have the mode. There are two modes here, sum and difference. Okay, that, that refers to the math the touch panel display is doing. There's no real easy way, a simple way to, uh, to describe, um, you know, in a word, uh, what those mean. But basically, if the lasers are pointed at each, the laser beams are pointed directly at each other, that's going to be some. If the laser beams of the two sensors are pointed in the same direction and one's pointed at the object and the other's pointed at a zero point, that's going to be difference. Okay, the grand majority of thickness measurements are done with the sum mode. So that is what we're going to show you here. The other thing you want to take note of is making sure that you have the right distance units. Now my my uh, gauge blocks are inches, so I want to make sure that my distance units are in inches because when I put in the value of the gauge block, it needs to be in the units that are set here. Okay, so once that's done, you're going to hit back and you're going to go back to the measurement screen. And now you notice that we have one measurement window in here. And the only real difference is you see two sort of position bars over here. And now I'm going to start this. It says range B. It's, it tells you which uh, sensor is out of range right now. So B is out of range. Actually, A is too. It only shows one at a time. But if, say, for instance, B was okay and range what, and, and sorry, B and A wasn't, you'd see range A. But I want you to notice over here you have the two position bars. These are there to show you where within the range of the sensors the target is to each one. Because you don't see this, the value over here of each one, it can be difficult to know where within the range you are. And that helps you sort of line it up. You wouldn't want to line things up 
like right here, it's very close to one ed end. It's very close to the edge of both of their ranges. Over here, it's close to the other. Okay, so you want it nice, nice in the middle here. I'm sorry, my my fat fingers are getting in the way. Okay, so then what you're going to want to do is you're going to take gauge block. This is a one inch gauge block, and you want to put it in between the two sensors. Now, you want to try to make sure that it is aligned so that the 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 two sensors, the two laser beams are shining perpendicular pe perpendicularly upon both sides. And that's really important. And uh, we'll talk about that we'll talk about about a little more about that in a second or two. But as you can see right here, this says it is 1.0 one two four which is obviously incorrect now the reason it says this is because the the sensors aren't perfect aren't perfectly placed so that the uh that the uh, uh the ranges are are exactly overlapping that's really easy to deal with all we have to do is calibrate and to calibrate we hit this button down here now you're given an option to perform a manual or guided calibration um, when you start, you should use guided ca uh, calibration. That's the easiest way to get a uh, correct value. Manual will let you sort of fine tune it after the fact, but if you were to select manual now, you'd have to know exactly what offset you'd need to put in, you'd need to add, uh, you'd need to adjust the uh, output to, and you know what potential multiplier you would need right off the bat. And that is difficult. It's much easier just to put a gauge block between the two sensors. So we've got the calibration block between the two sensors. I'm going to hit OK here, and I'm going to enter the value, and it is 1.000. Enter. Now it's going to ask me if I want to sample an additional calibration block. Generally, for simple uh, thickness measurements, you don't want to do that. Um, where that comes in handy is if your, your sensors are not perpendicular to the plane of the target. Okay, If they're off by a little bit, there's going to be a cosine error. And by, by, uh, by sampling an additional calibration block in the same orientation as the first, you can actually... Uh, you know, uh, account for that uh, that cosine error because they're off. But if you are are having the, if you are setting up the laser so that they're perpendicular to the plane of the target, this is not going to help very much. Okay, so I'm going to click no here, and as you can see, it's one inch exactly. Now that makes sense because I just defined it as such. So that's not a very good test of its ability. So here, I'll take, instead, I'll put a 0.3 inch gauge block in between. And again, you have to be very careful to align it perpendicular. As you can see, it's almost exactly there. And that's, gets a little bit, it gets a little bit fidgety sometimes because the orientation is so very important. And so that's how you can do a quick, uh, a quick thickness measurement setup. Now, just to show you, if I were to turn this, you'd see that it looks larger. And that's the reason why is because both of the triangulation lasers, it all it measures is to the, it actually takes a look at the spot that is reflecting off of the surface. So when you, when you tilt it on a, at an angle, you're actually measuring the sort of cross section that's parallel to the beams. So as you as you tilt it more, it gets larger. As you tilt it less, it gets smaller. Okay, that's all for this video. Um, if you have any more questions, we have a bunch of other videos. You can check out our website, acuitylaser.com, or you can just give us a call. Um, we'll be happy to help. Thanks so much for watching.